what up? It has been a minute. <laughs> as uh, many people comment, my hair has gotten really long. As you can tell by the Christmas tree behind me, it is Christmas season. And I don't think I've posted a vlog since we got married <laughs> in the honeymoon. So uh, yeah, it's time for catch up. Uh, I'll try to keep this video moderately short wrap up the rest of the year. Uh, it is actually New Year's Day today, so it's officially 2023. But this uh, vlog for me will be wrapping it up the 2022 year and uh, some things that I were highlights, places where I met my goals, and then at the end I'll wrap up with my 2023 goals. So stay tuned. Um, first up, Mike and I decided that we were going to have a new intro video. And so, uh, You'll see that next. So like I said, I haven't posted in since uh, August. So I have quite a few lifting videos to share. Uh, my back squat form has gotten a lot better, which is sick. I focused a lot on that. And in October, around Halloween time, I had a huge PR there. My last PR was 260. And uh, I'll show the video of me failing that in October of 2021. And this year I hit that with ease and then PR'd up to 290 on back squat. I definitely had 300, but uh, it just wasn't there that day and I haven't attempted it since. But it's been really exciting to see higher weights um, come for back squat. So that was pretty sick. So enjoy. to squat my bench has improved as well um, not a lot of numbers have been improved on my bench so as much as back squat has but uh, 
my back squat has been loading a lot longer. I've seen a lot more PRs in my bench this year and last year. So I'm getting really close to what my true PR, I would say, is on bench. And so it'll take a while for me to then reload again. Um, I did have a goal this year to bench 185. I think that was a little lofty just uh, due to what my PR is right now um, and what it was at the start of the year. But I obviously didn't make that goal. That was the only goal in 2022 that I didn't meet. But uh, so I, fin I finished off the year with a PR on bench at 160. But I'm really happy to see how fluidly 145, 150, 155, and then eventually towards the end of the year, 160 moves. I don't think I've ever hit a double at 160, but I've hit doubles and triples at 55, which is pretty sick to see. So I just need to get over that mental block at 160, and I think the higher numbers will come and I'll jump up again. But enjoy these uh, bench videos from the last three months. Anyone who follows Mike knows we've had a few stints in uh, the emergency room department in November, <laughs> right after Thanksgiving. Uh, we had to take him in because he had to get stitches in his finger. So enjoy that little uh, brief saga. And then uh, more recently, this last week, we had to take him in for some stomach issues. So he's actually been to the same urgent care twice in five, well, three times in five weeks, one to get his stitches, the second to get them out, and then the third on his stomach this week. But we've had a little bit of a saga there. <laughs> We're in the ER. Actually, medical care. Michael got his finger. First time getting stitches, how does it feel? I don't know, we'll see. Stitches interview, how did it go? Mm. You know, not as bad as the tattoo, but one of them was bad as a tattoo. Okay, but... get one on your face then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Talk yeah. to me when even, you get even three. Though, even though they said the finger's worse and it wasn't over there. Talk yeah. to me when you get three. Yeah. All right, he's got to get an x-ray now to make sure it didn't break yeah, his finger. I'll show you what's up. Show you what's up. I don't know if I can sit still because of how cold Update, I'm... this is 24 hours after the incident. Look at how deep it was cut. Yeah, look at those zip ties on me. Those are not zip ties, they're mm -hmm. stitches, you me. I am. Mike likes that I take pictures at his meets, and he had a meet in December. These were my two favorite ones of him that I took. Absolute bitch. Me, I suck. Beautiful wife came to support me. She's the best. Love her a lot. Four by four gang. Finger fucked up gang. Well, I need to document this if Mike's not. We are driving to Cedar Rapids today. It's Saturday to um, go to my brother's girlfriend's graduation from grad school lunch and then this afternoon we're going to Mike's um, fam one of Mike's family's Christmases and uh, we're bringing home a treadmill for his mom and uh, it's snowing outside there's Mike filling up with gas the treadmill is in the back it's snowing 
We're going to downtown Cedar Rapids for lunch where we'll park for like two and a half hours on the street. He refuses to strap it down. He refuses to put a tarp over it. And he expects this electric treadmill to work after this. So we can take polls in the comments and I'll keep you guys updated. But I keep telling him this thing is not, if someone doesn't steal it out of the back of your truck while we're in at the restaurant, or like if they don't do that, it's not going to work when you plug it in because it's going to be sitting in snow for two hours. But this man doesn't want to reason with me. So we'll prove them all you wrong. You tell me that that is going to work. It's not. It is snowing. We're in the middle of Czech Village. I, I can't with this idiot. I can't. can't. Really? Sue Tree says it has snow on it. And there's the plug-in cord. This is not going to work. This is not going to work. Alrighty, it's uh, Christmas morning for Michael and I at our apartment. And my favorite present was a new pillow, Tempur-Pedic. It is very soft and uh, plush. And Michael's favorite present, new spikes. Oh, yeah. Who'd have thought? We're on the road again. Coming home for Christmas. Here's what the roads look like at their best, I would argue. There's a, sometimes there's a little bit more in the fast lane that's really white, but Mike's doing a good job. I just slipped on me. I get to walk. Uh, finally, like I said, just a wrap up of my goals this year. Like I said before, I've met all of them but one. So um, my four goals for 2022 were to bench 185, which I did not meet, uh, to bench uh, to back squat 290, or excuse me. Yeah, 290. Yeah. So, uh, got that one and then uh read eight books. Finished that one just under the wire. Yesterday I finished the eighth book of the year at like 10 a.m. and I was really hauling. I was only halfway through the book on Friday. So, <laughs> really hauled through that last one, but I met that one and then uh I wanted to get married to Mike, which I did obviously, and then move into our first place, which we have. So, uh other than the bench Cool. Met all the other ones, which is really exciting. I think this is, I've been doing these yearly goals twice now. In 2020, I met all of them. This year, I met all but one. And I hope my goals for 2023, I'll get back on to meeting them all. Uh, they're not quite as lofty, I think, for 2023 as 2022 was. I have five goals for this year. One is uh, weekly scripture on Sundays. Two, uh bench 175 so i brought that number down just a hair three back squat 315 i think it's there uh 300 were certainly there in october so i think within a year i can get that 15 extra pounds uh my fourth one is a cardio goal which i haven't had in a while and it's based on minutes i haven't figured out exactly what the minutes are going to be for the year but mike suggested that instead of having a weekly goal, have an annual goal. So right now I'm thinking around 16,300 minutes of cardio for the entire year, which evens out to about 45 minutes a day. But I'll figure out a fun way to track that for 2023. And then my last goal, I really like to read. So I like always like having a reading goal on here, especially after I graduated college, I can read what I want. So I am bumping it from eight. The first year I did this, I did five and I read eight last year. My goal was eight and I read eight just under the wire. This year, my goal is to read 10 and have it be a little better spread out throughout the year. Uh, but I have some new books that I got for Christmas that I'm ready to read. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this brief recap of the last three months. Um, mini goal, I suppose, would be to be uh, more consistent in my vlogs. Mike does a really good job on doing his vlogs, but uh, Maybe this year will be a little slower. You know, we got married this year. There's a lot going on, so focus was elsewhere. But happy new year.